If you struggle with your deadlift form, I want us to watch a video together and then we're gonna explain why one form is correct and why the other one is less than optimal. So here's variation one and let's look at everything head to toe. Then let's look at form two. So if you need to go back and check it again, I get it because it's a lot to look at. There's a lot of things to consider, but form one is more optimal than form two. And let me explain. So when looking at form, you do have to look at everything. And then I commented respectfully, I think your form is better in the first, mostly because again, if you're looking at things from head to toe, in the second form, she's lifting her toes and that is gonna affect how much tension you have in the glutes and hamstrings. And she responded, you should only go down until you reach the point where you can no longer push your hips back further while maintaining a flat back and keeping tension in the glutes and hammies. And she's absolutely correct. She's doing exactly what she said is important in a deadlift. You're hinging as far back as possible if we look at her hips while maintaining a neutral spine, which optimizes the stretch in the glutes and hamstrings. That way you maintain tension throughout the entire lift. She did do a couple of reps in this one video where she did bend her knee a little bit more on the second rep. It does give you a little bit more quad engagement on an EMG, for example, but you're still maintaining a neutral spine. The glutes and the hamstrings are still stretched. That's such a small, small thing to harp on in the overall scheme of an RDL. In the second variation, she's decreased her range of motion, still maintaining a neutral spine, keeping tension on the glutes and hamstrings. Yes, again, this is optimal for hypertrophy. However, if you look at her feet, this is why when you're analyzing movement, you got to look at things from head to toe. Her toes are lifting off the floor, which is essentially breaking the kinetic chain. If you don't know, the kinetic chain basically describes all of the muscles and joints and bones working together to express movement because no exercise works in isolation. There's not only just one muscle working in a deadlift, it's several. And it's basically everything between your hands and the floor. And in a deadlift, that's basically everything. It's your hands because you're holding onto the bar and it's your feet because you're pushing and pulling with your feet. That means all of the muscles, bones, and joints between your hands and your feet are involved in this kinetic chain. And the greater the kinetic chain works, the more muscle stimulation you're going to have. Greater understanding of how kinetic chains work, it's basically everything is connected. What happens at the feet is going to affect what happens at the knees. What happens at the knees is going to happen at the hip, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In order to maximize tension in the glutes and hamstrings, as that creator also acknowledged, then we need to have everything engaged in that kinetic chain, including the feet. And in this instance, we're talking about your plantar flexors or your calf muscles, because they are the ones that push into the floor. So by keeping the toes to the floor, you're also going to be lengthening the calves, which co-contracts with the hamstring and glutes by the time you fully hinged into your deadlift. But once the toes lift off, it's like you've broken the kinetic chain and the overall activation of all the muscles along that kinetic chain are going to go down. So that's going to lose effectiveness in your deadlift. So again, even though she's bending her knees just slightly in this first variation, her toes are on the floor and she's maximizing that kinetic chain so that you can maximize the amount of hypertrophy you can stimulate in the muscles that you're trying to bias, which is the glutes and hamstrings. So this is why this variation is better than lifting your toes from the floor. Keeping your toes to the floor will be a small tweak with huge gains.